accurate local forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain starts now. Well, I've got a live look from New Bloomfield this morning where we are seeing a little bit of fog in the background, and that's not just in New Bloomfield. That's in several areas this morning, uh, most notably in parts of Lebanon County where visibility has been reduced to about three miles. So if you're out on the roads, if you see this fog, just make sure that you're taking it safe out there. Temperature-wise, 74 degrees in Harrisburg, 71 in Mifflin Town. We got 69 in McConnellsburg. But when you take a look at the dew points, you're also seeing Dew points in a similar range, so upper 60s for the most part. York is sitting at a 70 degree dew point, so that is something that's kind of contributing to the fact that we're seeing this fog. You get the dew point and the temperature so close together, and that actually results in that condensation and that water vapor forming those cloud droplets. There also is a little bit of lingering shower activity. That's in York and Lancaster counties, but for the most part, we are going to stay dry today. Not expecting too much this stationary front that is in the region that's going to continue to kind of drift off to the east and that'll keep things and keep the rain away from us. But the heat is going to start building in. You'll notice a lot of high pressure in the region. So through the rest of your Saturday, not too much that you can expect. Maybe a stray shower. That's really your only hope for a cool down here because highs are going to be significant. Yesterday we sat at about 80 degrees, well below the average for this time of year. We're going to see a completely different outlook today hitting 90 degrees. So yesterday got got that break today. We're right back to it 90 degrees in the afternoon, and that is just the start of things as we get into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Upper 90s all across the board. Only relief is going to come this coming Thursday. So we've got several days to go before we see any kind of real drop here. And the reason we're seeing that drop on Thursday is because we have a cold front that's going to move into the region. So you can see this dip that really occurs around that Thursday time frame. It brings that cooler air into the region. That will be something that you can kind of look forward to. But in the meantime, uh, there is a lot of heat on this uh, seven day forecast. You got that 90 degree on that Saturday. You got 96 degrees on that Sunday and then potentially hitting 98 on Tuesday. So that is something that we're watching out for. Not really looking at breaking any records though. Again, these records for this time of year are in the low hundreds. So we haven't hit 100 yet. I don't expect we're going to hit 100 anytime soon this summer and, and thankfully when you get those higher dew points because there's going to be a humidity factor here that is something that's going to kind of keep the temperatures away from that upper echelon of high temperatures we also have some limited rain chances so monday tuesday and wednesday all feature stray storm chances i will say this wednesday is going to be that best chance for rain so among all of these days i would expect the most rain on wednesday that's going to be later wednesday ahead of the cold front that's going to arrive on Thursday and we'll see how much rain we can get out of that because the drought monitor has not looked good recently and uh, it's continued to not look good as long as we have managed to stay away from the rain. So hopefully we can get some decent totals out of this. We can kind of break away from that drought and get back into business with uh, with the rainfall uh, deficit that we're seeing. But uh, overall, very hot week up ahead find ways to stay cool and of course uh, you, you can look forward to that Thursday and Friday that's going to feature temperatures in the mid 80s. Kayla.